everyone. I'm Meg. Hello, everyone. I'm Caleb. And hello, everyone. We are well, going to watch Daredevil. <laughs> hello, Daredevil. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Daredevil. <laughs> Wait, this is blasphemous. That right. I'm wearing Batman. You're basically wearing Kingpin. <laughs> no, 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 Same thing. If you if you connect enough dots, this looks kind of like Daredevil. Yeah. If you connect enough dots, Batman becomes Kingpin. Yeah, I'm on I'm on Wilson Fisk's side. No, I'm just kidding. The absolute disparity in outfit choices today is killing me. Look at this flower. I love it. But it's Batman and the Mona Lisa. And the Mona Lisa. Shin got me this. Thank you, Shin. Shin, Shin word. So things are things are spicing up. Last time was really sad. It was really sad. Uh, Murdoch versus good. Nelson. Yes, it was sad for Foggy and Maddie. I love that they have like Foggy Maddie. Like it's such yeah. a cute little like. This is a cute nickname. <laughs> um, but the good news is that Karen found Fisk's mom. Yeah. And in, in, in a home sorry that's not good news well but no, like <laughs> she was just being so sneaky with ben she was like i know a nursing home upstate come with me let's just go for a little ride but you're gonna drive ben. yeah but it was like a great discovery because the mom was like he did it but he didn't mean to and like my boy he did his best yeah and yeah it's so it was a good discovery for them because it has felt like they're kind of losing and losing and losing so much has happened and we still have three episodes of this season left. i know and there's three seasons i think so yeah but we're so happy you're here thanks for being here thanks for watching with us oh yeah now that was something that happened I'm coming with her sorry we can't have you in there sir don't you know who i am it doesn't matter Fill out the paperwork. We'll update you on her condition as soon as we know anything. She shoved it. She just, it doesn't uh, matter. Like, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I sincerely hope we did not skip ahead of all those kids. <laughs> like the kid in the wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this place is a rat hole and it's like sick kids. It's so dark. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, I do hope Vanessa's okay. Um, I do too. I, like it's it's tough. I don't you know root for her. I like her I, as a character. Yeah, me too. I really like her as a character. Um, I don't want her to die. And also, I'm genuinely afraid for the world if it's, she does die. Right. Yeah. Because he's gonna notice. I didn't say New York. I said the world. <laughs> okay. Um, a little better, buddy. Oh. You look like shit. I'm looking better than I feel. We gonna sue? <laughs> what the hell happened in here? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Why are you oh, laughing? Because he's like he's putting the the act back on. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's he's in pain. I know he's in pain. He was feeling for the chair. Oh, like he knows where everything is. Oh, do you remember the last time that I was here? Yeah, things got romantic, didn't <laughs> they? Wait, no, they didn't. Sorry, I was thinking of Foggy. Sorry. <laughs> I think he he loves Claire. I think. I found something, a marriage certificate for his mother, Marlene. She's still alive. Yeah. Just living in a care facility oh. upstate. Mm -hmm. no. You should have talked to me or Foggy before you ran off like that. I tried. Yeah, she did. But you weren't picking up. Yeah. You have no room to you talk. You were fighting. Right? The boys were fighting. Mm -hmm. He killed his father when he was 12. Bashed his head in with a hammer, and then she helped him cover it up. Well, he, he was a minor. It's not going to be enough. To put him in jail? Yeah. No. But it doesn't line up with everything that Fisk has been saying. Everything that he has altered on the internet. I mean, just the fact that she's alive and he declared her dead is... That's enough, I think. Just attack his... His honesty. character. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like in, in court. Like, if mm -hmm. you find that they're lying about any part of their testimony, you can throw the whole thing out. Especially if it's a lot of things. Yeah. It's a balloon. I um, It's got a monkey on it. That's cute. <laughs> it's just impossible not to love her and it's impossible not to love him. So mm -hmm. sometimes when two hot people get together, 
<laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> But also he can't see her. But I will say, like he can, he can feel her. Right. He can hear her. <sighs> Why are you doing this with Marcy? Yeah, oh, he's relapsing. It's like his, like his addiction. Wait, who's Marcy again? The one who was a hoe in the office with Karen. Oh, I forgot about the Marcy. rich, like working work against. Wise. Maybe never, not with Matt. You two have been friends as long as I've known you. I don't really care. Uh, okay? That'll be okay, Fisk. Oh, did you just turn into a regular person waiting? I don't love it, but I do like when it shows you can't be rich enough to stop poison. Like, you can't be rich enough to look at him. totally can't. skip the I line for health care because you didn't invest in the health care. No matter how much phony, fun, phone, phone. <laughs> Money you have. <laughs> how many phones you have. No matter how many phones you have. Uh, grief is inescapable. Yes. And fear. He's still a person. Mm-hmm. All to get to the big guy, Christ. Yep, Jesus Christ. He's well, what did you What did you think, Gal dude? Give any indication You're she working was with him. Oh, you think it was Gal? So I, I think it was Gal. After what he did to know Blue I think they time. all revolted. Well, it might be too too simple. They believe the man in the mask was responsible for his accident. I think it's Sticks boss. The guy with the smoke that was sitting. The three of the others who drank whatever that was have passed. Passed. Part of me which is I had Yay Clean! Yay, oh. she's back. I had a Wesley. Like you say it ekes you out, but like he's the realest one. Like imagine he's, having a man like that, like a hype man. Sorry. He just, he just scares me. I think okay. he's like genuinely evil. Let yourself heal. I meditate for that. You meditate. I learned when I was a kid. Oh. It helps with the pain. And you mm -hmm. faster. You really should get some kind of body armor. Yeah, can you get yeah. a proper suit? Just get some gamma radiation first. He needs like a Batman suit. How is Tony and Nick Fury, how are they not hearing of the man in the mask? Taking some time off. Get out of the city for a while. Oh. How much time? Don't you gonna miss you. me? <laughs> I think you're right though. I think he really likes her, but like is kind of, there's a little something, something with Karen. Yeah. But like, I'm sensing more of a vulnerability and fire with them. You made it pretty clear you didn't want to move forward with whatever this was. You know what it was, what it could have been. If I stop. Ooh. I'm... It'll always be something, someone. You know that, right? I think you're also the man the city created. For better or worse. He's such a good actor. Cause I can tell he likes her. At least I got to see you with your shirt off again. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm kind of in love with her too. It's really cute. Yeah, I get it. I ship them though. I'll always be there when you really need me. Oh. I'll patch you up. Marry her. Yeah. Propose. Oh. Yeah. She's a good sport about it. She She's a good person. The only thing I remember from Sunday school is the martyrs. <sighs> the saints, the saviors, they all end up the same way. I never said I was any of those. You didn't have to. Of course, that's what's That's how about. it, well, also, I know, that's how I know it's, like, kind of true love and care, because I would just take whatever place in your life. Like, if you wanted to just be friends, I would just be friends with you and stuff. Same. I needed you. You know who needs me, Karen? My wife. Finally, have the smoking gun or whatever. More whatever than a gun. It's a firecracker. Do you see the rainbow in his glasses? It's so pretty. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. If we don't do something, Fisk is going to win. There are no winners and losers in something like this. Well, Elena Cardenas might disagree with you if she still could. Oh. She's, just, she's very passionate. She is. You think someone's trying to kill Fisk? I've been writing about crime in the city since before you were born. The only thing I know without a doubt is you don't get to be the man at the top. For very long. Without making enemies oh. looking to tear you down to the ground. Mm -hmm. If she dies, Rosenberg's in from Hartford. Oh! My heart hurts. Such a He's good so good. 
You need to find who did this. I want to look in their eyes when I salt the earth with their blood. This would be Maddie if Foggy or Karen died or Claire. It would be. I don't know if he'd go through with it, but he would be acting like this. I want her sent away. Or far from me. In the city. I doubt she would want that. But we seldom get everything we want. But he's trying to protect her, Caleb! Mm -hmm. I understand. Wilson to Fish could her, get but it. She also <laughs> has her own choices. Yeah, she has been making. You're right. She's been choosing all this. Love you. Thank you. Basically the same thing. Aww. Don't make me like Wesley, please. I, I don't know. He's <laughs> just sensitive. He's a bad, bad man. But look at the way he's looking at him. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> He's still Look at he's, that! he's a human being. He can still be an evil piece I of crap. I just don't like saying like evil, and I'm not <laughs> sympathetic. You know, it's just like in the moment, can't we appreciate like this man is here for a reason? The way mm -hmm. he took his hand and just said thank you, mm -hmm. and then Wesley looking. I admire it because I see how Wesley looks at him. And it's, it is precious for a male-male relationship, like a friendship. And I, I can acknowledge that. I think it is beautiful. It's yeah. uh, just interesting because it's coming from two people who we've seen do some Evil really things. Yeah, you can things. say that. The man, did you? Imagine the no, priest is the guy him. that Stick reported to. <laughs> that would be a fun twist. Yeah, right. I'm not afraid of dying. A lot of people aren't. Comes right down to it. It's living scares the holy crap out of them. You know what I do? Yes, Matthew, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I'm a pretty good loud. idea who you are. Vampire. <laughs> it's like... Accident. When I was a kid. Used to think it was God's will. Why did he put the devil in me? Why do I feel it in my heart? Clawing to be let out. If that's not all part of God's plan. Kinky. <laughs> and how do you know the angels and the devil inside me aren't the same thing? Yeah. I don't. They literally, that's Lucifer. Maybe that was God's plan all along. Allowed him to fall from grace. I'm a symbol to be feared. Warning to us all to tread the path of the righteous. I love this priest. I, I do too. He's, he's, because it, it's like a conversation. It's not this is it. It's like, well, what about this? And what about this? And it's like, oh, I just realized this. And there's an I wish more church could be like that. There's an acknowledgement of how the world works. You are not going back out again. I'm going that... to smack you. Dude. No, you can't. You just got your... There he is. <laughs> I'm really not in the mood for this tonight. No, you're not. <laughs> you don't gotta do all <laughs> Go for the knife in your boot. I break your leg. <laughs> I want information. What do I look like? Public damn library. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay, it kind of looked like he like squashed a smile down at that. I that's what I want to believe, anyways. Like he just went. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Thank goodness for performances like this. I don't know of like a really, really bad guy who has such an expressive, vulnerable face. My mother called. Oh. Can you return? See what she needs. That he needs to get back to business while there's still business to get back to. He will. When? When he deems it appropriate. Well. This is you defending me when I don't want to stream. <laughs> when she deems it appropriate. She will be back. You're my Wesley. <laughs> Read a book It's interesting or to compare Wesley and Foggy because I honestly think Foggy is a better friend. As much as I'm like, imagine having a man this devoted to you as a friend. He doesn't check Fisk. Foggy... And Maddie, I believe, have a more heartful, like, legitimate friendship. Because and I think the hierarchy messes with yes, that, Yes, the power, because you're right. no matter what, Wesley will be working for Fisk. Yes. Where Foggy and Matt are on 
yeah equal you're right footing. you're right you're and they've right. always been on equal footing it's always been you and me buddy me and you. yeah uh oh came to visit you <gasps> shit Karen. okay so now suddenly you can remember everything and you're lucid you little Shh, bitch <laughs> Right. But right. like, really? Now you can remember? <laughs> <laughs> I know they gave a fake name, but she can describe her and him. Oh, oh, it's the guy who did the measurements. Mm, you remember that? Oh, yeah. And Fisk was like really rude. He was like, he's an idiot. It's like the Lucius Fox. But, like, but evil. this guy. <laughs> Hello. You work for Fisk. Oh, I thought it was gonna be more like, can I browse your wares? Oh. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, what if he asks for you? Yeah. Tell him I won't be long. I love how all the bad guys are different, though. They that really. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely seems like neurodivergent, yeah. you know? And all the guys that work with Fisk are different. Why all the chains with Maddie? Ooh. He's not supposed to be in here. Mr. Fisk is gonna be mad. He's gonna hurt her. Who, who's he gonna hurt? <laughs> Moen. That's your name, isn't it? Yeah, he was really rude about his brain. There's your angels. <laughs> oh, Melvin. I'm sorry I ever thought you were bad, Melvin. Just doing your best. I just I said no when he asked. I'm gonna make him things. I'm sorry, Melvin. Fisk has hurt people that I care about too. Did you make a suit lined with this? You made a whole bunch. I promise to get Fisk out of your life. And to keep Betsy safe. What do you want me to make? A symbol. I, I hate that he took advantage of someone like that. That's like one of the lowest things you can do for me. And I know he was different and bullied and he was an outcast, but that's no excuse. You're a dick. <laughs> what the hell did I do? <laughs> trying to get rid of fear, but his primary weapon is fear and yeah. intimidation. He, he beat his father to death. He was 12, 40 some years ago. Jesus, why don't any of you sound just like that? You saw him. You talked about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cute. The same about you. Oh. <laughs> what is going on with you two? I mean, her job's on the line, so. <laughs> Found the Nelson Murdoch sign in the trash. A very rough patch. Did you rescue it? Oh. Be nice if you and Matt could get your heads out of your asses and help do something about it before there is nothing left of Hell's Kitchen to fight for. I feel so bad that she's leaving all these voicemails and yeah. like it's gotta feel so isolating and she's gotta be so stressed yeah and like panicking like and i don't think they realize that like wesley could just go <sighs> he's gonna get one of them he's gonna get one of them i'm really scared i feel like it's falling apart man oh, it's usually right around the time you know the story's getting interesting we all do what we can Sometimes it's enough. Thank you, Ben. I swear, if they get, if Wesley gets him, the if she took is him, yeah. Killing. Just see Wesley opening the door. I know. Yeah. See. Yeah. Stop. Dr. No, you won't. Maybe he. Well, maybe he's planning to just like maybe. quit and and go with his wife, and he's doing something. I think. So. So he's working on it. Uh. For some reason, I have more hope for Karen. Same. Like, I don't know how to pray. <sighs> I tried to mimic the words, but it was false. All I can do 
is make you a promise. One that not even God, if there is such a thing, can prevent me from keeping the people that did this to you. They will suffer. I thought we could chat. It's so sad. She's got to feel so isolated. They are, their heads are up their asses, and I don't think they're going to realize she's gone because they're focused on other stuff. All right. You were supposed to go away, Miss Page. Perhaps we're destined. Oh, shush. To follow a path. None of us can see you anymore. It's not a soliloquy. Get all grandstandy. Do I have your attention? Hello, could you uh, like nod or something? Bro! Uh... Do you love this city? <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest, the situation calls for it. I do not love this city. The air that seems he to... He loves the intention <laughs> right now, <laughs> Jesus. He loves to talk. Wash away. He's a performer like Fisk. There's a certain performance. And the man you were with, Mr. Yurik, I'm guessing. <sighs> Mr. Fisk. As I said, loves his mother. You haven't told him. He's preoccupied with more important matters. I'm sick of listening to your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Here to offer you a job. Wesley? Can I get a coffee, please, Black? That's the way. <laughs> that This is the way. Where's Wesley? You're going to convince Mr. Yurek that everything is fine. That Wilson Fisk... Is a He'll man. never believe that. Mm -mm. But she won't even need to say it. He'll see it in her face. He's an idiot for even yeah. thinking to offer this. I'd rather die first. No, I think Mr. Yurik will have that honor. Then we'll go to your place of employment, see to Mr. Nelson, Mr. Murdoch. <gasps> Get him scared. You never ignore Fisk's calls, Wesley. Do you really think I would put a loaded gun on the table where you could reach it? Oh, he's. Oh, this is Do interesting. You really think this is the first time I've shot someone. Oh! Miss Page. Yes! Take his phone. Take his phone. Take his phone. Wait, actually, no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know much oh, yeah. about what DNA. Do do? What do you do? He's dead. I'm so glad. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's about time, Wesley. That goes. was amazing. That was the best way he could go. Yeah. Just shocked. That was so like... cathartic. Yes. And he tried to maneuver and perform his way. Your boogeyman's gone, Fisk. She shot him a lot. She did several times. Do you think this is the first time I've ever shot a gun? Or I've ever shot somebody. Somebody. But she knew what to do is the interesting thing. So I don't know if I... Well, I think she, she called his bluff and then made one of her own. Like, I don't know if she's ever shot somebody. Oh, uh, yeah, because she did get like... But I think she tried to scare him, and then when he didn't believe then her, then how she did was she know like, how to use a gun? Like maybe she just did like some self defense because she cocked it. Maybe her dad, her yeah. mom or dad took her shooting. Yeah. Maybe she's she's just been to the I range. She probably with, learned just. She in probably case. learned self defense just because she lives in New York City. Yeah, know? right. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> but wow. he was. He was so cocky. And confident. He was like, I did. That was like one of my favorite scenes. And people will probably think I'm weird, but it was really, really awesome. Because it seems like Fisk has this shield around him. And Wesley has the shield around him. And he really underestimated her. And it was stupid. That was a huge mistake. And he was like trying to talk to her in, in words that made her, her feel small yeah. and stupid. and. When in reality, he was just, he was just ranting and she had this, she was just like, I'm going to give like the second he is distracted. Yeah. She, she was aware she, she was, was on top planning. of her game. Yeah. And he, he got, he got 
sloppy. That, and it was such a big twist for me because I really thought it would be Maddie coming through the door, but she did more than Maddie's done. <laughs> She's, Ten episodes. I, she has. She's, she's gotten done herself out of like so many situations. She found out about Fisk's mom. Yeah. She is working with Ben. She she eliminated Wesley. Like I don't know if she'll be a superhero, but she is so smart and like she definitely has these talents, these natural talents and inclinations. You can't develop that intuition. It's inherent. And they're lucky. They're so lucky they have her because I feel like she's the only one that is truly able to focus. <laughs> yeah. And and bring them back to center. And, and and just imagine if Maddie wasn't running around looking for a suit and instead was just allowing himself to recover and looking out for his friends. But no. Yeah. And I understand <laughs> where his head was at, yeah. you know. And like, it's going to be necessary. Like, right. And I'm, I'm kind of kidding about that because he has been working really hard and saving people. Yes. Um, but I just think it's interesting and it's hard. Like people are going to be like, well, she shot someone. To me, that was complete self-defense. She was chloroformed. Yeah. So I'm like, do you go to the police? No, you can't because Fisk bought them. So she really does just have to leave. And they need to get on the same goddamn page yeah, yeah. because she like she needs to tell Maddie. And if and well, she needs to know about Maddie, if Maddie no, exactly. And if Maddie told her before Foggy, this whole thing would be really different, I feel, because she'd just be like, oh, my God. Nice. OK, so like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Yeah, <laughs> she probably has a hunch. Yeah, like, she's been near him. She has smelled him. She yes. has heard him talk. Yes, I like, agree. She might even have known the whole time. And... She does seem very confused with Foggy, though, but it could be like a cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Um, And she just she knows that they're. <laughs> Just not being honest with her. I and loved that. It was so good. Because it was, it was purely, it was just so satisfying to watch. Because it, for me, it was purely self-defense. Because he, that was his gun. He chloroformed her. And if I was in that situation, I would shoot too. I would too. And I'd be horrified. And maybe it's also like a woman self-defense thing. I would be horrified like her, but I would make sure that like, I shot enough times that the person would be dead. Well, actually, I don't know. In trial, is it like, are you supposed to not? <laughs> like when it's self-defense, aren't you supposed to not shoot that many times? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> well, I, I know like in her, some cases, I think like the she, Shana Huber's case, she, she shot she so and, many and times. admitted That's to it and admitted the. Like didn't want, admitted to murder. Right. You know? And self-defense, I don't think is like the intent to murder. No. But it doesn't matter because she's not going to tell the police. Like right. she, she had to get out of there. She's... And it's just, it's ridiculous. Hey, do you, you think I put a loaded gun on the table? Yes. You were trying to scare me and you did not think that me, a a, a, a woman. And he wasn't going to let her out of there. A just freshly chloroformed woman would yeah. reach across the table and grab your gun that you were stupid enough to put on the table. Yes. It was so cocky. It was the best way for him to die. Yeah. I think, it, and you had kept saying like, I, I want him to go. He needs to go. Needs to go. Was that not the most perfect way? I'm it obsessed. Was. It was. I was just like, yes. I'm obsessed. Yes. And he was so, that soliloquy, and while there are moments that I appreciate his devotion to Fisk, I think you're exactly right that the power it, it balance is weird. And he likes to use the power balance with other people, too. He and likes he to talk to, down. He wants to be in charge. Like, he he took that upon himself to go find and her. And that was a huge mistake. If he had been honest, honest with Fisk, Fisk would have probably found another way to just, like, eliminate Karen. So, but he was, like... A... Lesson learned. Be honest. Yeah. And... I'm excited to see Maddie's suit. Yeah. Me too. The symbol. I, I can't wait. I really hope the three of them can get on the same page. We have two more episodes left. Two more! So, I don't know if we'll knock them out in one sitting. Maybe. Oh, um, but I'm really excited. Same. That was quite a cliffhanger. Yeah. I'm so proud of her. Me too. Waiting is going to be hard. You don't have to. Week. We don't really have to yeah, wait. Yeah, we, can just, we, can just, we can just watch them. We're not waiting watch. for it to be like dropped. <laughs> when or is released. it going to come out? And I love that Ben is working on it too. Yeah. He's working I'm on so it. I'm so scared for him. 
I know me too. Uh-oh. And I, it's funny because I, I believe that Karen, I really feel like, I don't know. I literally said, I feel better about it being Karen because I had a, I, I just knew she would shoot. She would find a way. We've known like she could be a superhero. She has that in her. Yeah. And I've known she could kill people. She's she's brave. She's instinctive. And it's different because and she does it. She didn't grow up religious. She asked Maddie, does it help? And he's like, sometimes not today. And I don't think it would help her with the morality of should I shoot this guy? No. She's she's awesome. And now Fisk isn't going to know that she visited her his mom unless the guy that called Wesley calls Fisk because Wesley kept that information to himself. And the guy that dead. calls Wesley calls Fisk. No, because the nursing it was, home yeah, called they're, Wesley. They're not. I don't think they're gonna. So the nursing home called Wesley. Uh-huh. Put the person on the phone. Put the mom on the phone. So I don't think they even know really. Yeah. And that's and it wouldn't be a thing that they because the because the mom wanted to talk to Wesley. It seems that that Fisk doesn't talk to his mom. No. Directly. Mm-mm. So now that line is gone. Yes. Her short term memory is non existent. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think she's like, gonna remember. I wonder how yeah, yeah, what's what's next? It's just interesting. Oh god. And he's good. probably gonna be like freaking out, like it's he's gonna be unhinged, like where did he go? What did he do? And Who I love did that. And I love Maddie embracing the devil. Like he's letting it mm-hmm. out. I, I really do. He's daredevil. He is. And he's just like this part of me is very real and it's God's plan and I'm going to ride I'm going to ride it out. I'm going to do what the plan is. And the priest is like, "Okay." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, but then that how he switched for Melvin was really sweet. He still cuz it's about the people. Yeah, it's exactly. It's about the New Yorkers. It's it's about Hell's Kitchen and people like Melvin. Yeah. who just wants to make things and yeah. be with Betsy. Yeah. And, just that's all he wants mm-hmm. and, and and i love and i've always said that it's not about the principle so much ego comes with believing in principle i just feel like maddie sees the person in front of him the people in front of him and it's a gray area so he's not gonna be like you work for fisk chew but yeah. i think karen knew wesley was a bad man obviously he chloroformed her my goal will always be like who do i want to protect what's the truth like and who do i really want to help who needs my help and keeping your mind open to yeah hearing yes. everything rather yeah. than just being like that is not something that i have an interest in learning about no and, exactly and I feel like that's that's what that's that's what a, why a lot of real issues especially in this country are mm-hmm. ignored like like homelessness, food shortage, yeah. uh, the the housing crisis, mm-hmm. all of this stuff. And it's so all these relevant people, to these, Fisk. And these people at the top want us to think like it, it, it can be better when they're the ones making it that way. And so it's yeah, exactly. It's, and I and I feel like it is a really a really great way to to remind us all to just look toward each other yes. and not look toward some some. Some like like Ideology, the big people, yeah. yeah, and the people, the talking heads on the TV to to guide yeah. us. It's it's like just be kind to one another, ask questions, listen. And some people are really misguided, and he was being it, like Betsy was being held hostage, and especially that kind of brain. It's like very simple minded, and I just I so hate that he took advantage of Melvin like that. It's just, it's like it's really horrible. low on my shit list. Well, and then you see Melvin, <laughs> Melvin, like I was, I was like, Oh God. Yeah. Beat Melvin up because Melvin yeah. was beating Maddie up. But then like, he they both scared. were just it like was fear. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just fear. Like, remember that they're afraid of you. A but symbol. what I, the thing that I appreciated about that was Maddie didn't, get defensive or he didn't just like associate anyone who worked with Fisk as an evil person. He listened and he saw like as soon as he started crying, Melvin started crying, he like shifted and he like got down and touched his shoulder. I'm so sorry, Melvin. Yeah. (laughs) And like, let's move on. And I feel like we can make mistakes where we can get defensive and we can get too attached to our ideologies or whatever. But if we if we can snap out of that and just like as you said, look to each other, see the human in front of us, even with people like Fisk. <sighs> These characters, I'm very it's excited really good. to see where it goes. Yeah, me too. Um, Yay, Karen. Before we go, we need to, we, I want to thank our, uh, we want to thank 
our patrons, especially our tier four patrons, our archmages who are producers for this video. Uh, we've got John G. Robinson, Light Yagami, and Rubidium, Rubidium Moon. Moon. Thank you all so much for your support, and thank you to all our other patrons. You guys make this possible, and we are endlessly grateful for you, and you're the bomb, and... We yeah. appreciate you. Can't wait to finish this season with you and then move on. Like the to video another if you, season. <laughs> if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you want to. Check out the gaming channel. Check out the and, Patreon. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. We will see you next time for more Daredevils. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.